What I see down there, <clears throat> excuse me, is, uh, it's like we're playing this game, right? We call <laughs> things things like climate change, not change, it's collapse, it's weather whiplash, you know. There's nobody wants to speak the truth. Everybody, it's about jobs or it's about... It's about all these things that, that, that are about right, we're fighting, we're battling. It's about no this, no that. How about yes water, yes life, yes abundance, yes health? You know, we had that 18 miles down the road, the um, Billy Frank Jr. National or whatever, the, the Wildlife Refuge. You know, that's what our, I don't call it a port, I call it an estuary. That's where our life began there, you know. We're playing these games here, you know, and... Um, this papers, protecting paper, protecting these things and fighting for rights. How about responsibility? That's what this water is, you know. It's not about jobs. It's not about these things. It's about water. You protect and stand up and you, 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 you advocate for water because all habitat needs it. And inhabitants need habitat. And both need. They don't want it. They need water. So Water is the creator, it's truth, it's genuine, it's not illusionist, it's not David Copperfield, it's, it's the truth. So you stand for the truth, like the trees in the forest. They don't try to be a bush or try to be a machine or take resolutions to councils and cities and rely on states there. There's consent that is being allowed silently and physically, you know. It's about being an adult in a room and acting that way and speaking truth to the room. You know, uh, I saw her this in talking to Jay Inslee at that Centennial Accord, that game that, that we play with these people, you know. I have to educate this kid, this little brother of ours, asking. I was down at this thing in Olympia, asking. They've got these petitions, we're going to ask these people. If you elected them, you're not asking them, you're telling them. I ain't working for them, they work for us. Work the system, use it. They taught us to use it. They, they give us spelling tests and spelling words. Well, use the words then. Why keep the words in here? Feel it. You know, quit thinking. That's why everything's fine. Know this, know that. The needle stays just like this, don't it? You start talking about yes and the truth, and the thing starts moving like that. Hey, no LNG, no Enbridge, no line three, and that, that needle stays exactly like that, and the quo stays exactly like it is, because we're doing the same thing we've always done, and we're going to get the same thing that we've always gotten. So do something different. Stop saying no. Start saying yes, life. Yes, water. Yes, air. Yes, children. Yes, future. Yes, tomorrow. Yes, clean food. Yes, clean water. You save the water. You save the zooplankton, the phytoplankton, the herring that makes the, cra the, the herring balls that make where the salmon eat, where the orca eat. There used to be porpoises, barnacles, keel, elk, grass, clams, oysters, and all these things that made my beach my beach. It was like a kid's scribbling book with color. Starfish, purple mussels, clams squirting, barnacles hurting your feet, you know? But they don't know that. We're different. We live with. We're responsible. They live against and with rights. They hide behind the cowardly bush where democracy, equality, justice, and this thing called the American way hide. Quit being that way. What can we do? What can you do? He was saying that. You're out in the, in, in the grocery stores, you're out and you're seeing these people, use it for once and say, hey, how do you think, no, how do you feel about the whiteboard called our sky now, it used to be blue. How do you feel about it snowing at 37 degrees at March 8th? How do you feel about that? Is it now still funny or weird? No, it's really happening and it is wrong. So use this, and if you really got to use this, Use this to follow this, your medicine wheel, where your emotions are, and your mentalities, and your physical, and your spiritual being. Right there, you know, use that. Follow your heart, because then all of a sudden, you know, you're starting to speak what you feel. Right? You start acting differently and behaving like that adult in the crowd. Instead of starting, like, well, the, well, the, the treaty says, oh, well, our policy says, well, the law says, me, I hate, this is my mother. This is her nature, and this is her law, and that's what I, I believe in. You know, Billy Frank said, I don't believe in magic. I don't believe in this illusion stuff. I believe in the game that runs in the forest, right? The fish that swims in those streams and rivers in the ocean like that, and the, the creations that fly in the skies like that. They don't lie to me. They haven't been indoctrinated through your schools and your education, your square rooms, your square doors, your square roofs, your square desk, your square books, your square, 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 square. We live in a holy world. You know, we have responsibility. We had a way of life. We had ancient forests. Why don't you ask us how we kept it like that? You know, before the Nini Pinta, the Santa Maria, the Mayflower, and those Viking ships showed up with your system that used the white people to do what they've done to us who are racing for this lifestyle. 
by building and constructing these things that they call, you know, civilization like that. I saw in a film that little strip by the bridge. That's all that's left that's somewhat natural. That used to let, if you, if it, you go down 18 miles down the road, you see what it once looked like. But now we're kind of conditioned, like, hey, that's just the way it is, because we need jobs. <laughs> right? Hey, how about needing water? That day that we're on protest, hey, those guys got jobs. They, they, need, they need to get somewhere. They need their jobs. I said, you know what? They can probably go a week, a month or so without their jobs. But how many hours, how many days can they go without clean water, huh? Ask them that while they sit there in their aisle trucks. So I was just getting started, and I'll leave it there like that. I can go on and on. I'm passionate. Because we are people of the salmon. We are people of those blackfish. We are people of the water. When those things go, we go. We can't exempt ourselves. I'll say, oh, now we're not people of the fish. Well, now we're not people of the blackfish. Now we're not people of the water. That goes, we go. That's why I'm passionate. I don't have the luxury to talk about seven generations like the white people do. We are in it. This is happening to us and on us. You know, that's why I speak from here. I speak the truth. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to lie. I don't know how many more tomorrows I got. I don't have time for drama. I don't have time for all this. Yeah, well, the paper says, my job says, well, we got to do it this way. No. Hey, be the adult. Don't you see what's going on? Don't you feel what's going on? Don't you care about your life? Why are you here? What matters to you? Are you here just to take, take, take? I hear this in this thing here. We're caretakers. We're caretakers. Words have power. Everybody, put your right hand on your throat. Feel the vibration. What you say echoes throughout life. Right? We're caregivers, not caretakers. They're caretakers. We're caregivers. Watch what you say and how you say it. Share love. Share the peace and things like that. Yes, water. What's it about? It's about the water. Well, I hear these guys. It's about the water. Well, there, it's about the water. Quit talking about it. It gives energy. That's why he's in a White House. You talk about fear. That's what you manifest. Talk in abundance. Talk in help. You know, we see that these people that are sage. You know, hey, we're in prayer. And be it. Be the faith. Be your hope. Be love. And that charity is this. Hey, how do you feel today? Do you know what's occurring down here? I am human. My, my mom, when she sleeps, she lays down. She closes her eyes. When you hit her, it hurts her. You say bad things, it hurts her. That's what you're doing. Is that how you're raised? Is that how you were taught? Is that what you teach your children? Is that why it's fine? Knock it off. Knock it off. You're guest in our house. You're guest in our place. Behave so. Conduct yourself. It doesn't take a lot to. Mind your manners. Please and thank you, you know. Something bad is occurring in our territory, not our waters. Those, that water goes, we go. All right? It's that simple. All habitat needs water. Inhabitants need habitat. Both don't want water, they need water. Oh, ho, all my relations. Around here, storytelling. When a person's telling a story, the people list, thank you. I knew she would respond to that. <coughs> Abu, it's respect. We're listening to you. We're acknowledging that we're listening and we're being good listeners. I was listening to her speak over here kind of watching the room like that. And I want to stand up there for a minute and say Habu. In a way, I think maybe Habu now should be just like, so how do you feel? Habu. How do you feel about what she just said and shared, you know? Not what you think. Hey, what do you think about what she said? Yeah, she goes, yeah, I feel fine. But no, how do you feel now that you know? Because now we're sharing truth. Now you have a choice to make, right? That's all life is, is making good choices, healthy choices. So now you know a truth. You see the pain and the suffering it causes. Dakota was down there, he was talking down there. It is. It's, it's, those people sacrifice their lives for these jobs. <sighs> to go down there in the mine. That's what it was, right? Down there, that industrial slew of any kind of toxin that is not good for you or me or my children. When a baby's born, they, she's talking about grandchildren. They say, hey, take it easy around here. That, that the baby feels the stress. The baby feels that. You're going to stress the baby. I'm stressed the heck out. I'm sure everybody's kind of stressed the heck out. How do you think our children feel? Not think. How do you think our children feel the stress? How about those babies? Do they matter to you? Do you care? What is your care? What is your matter? Does it have limits? Does it have prejudice? Does it have conditions? Does it have well buts or yeah buts? I would buts. All these things that I would do but I can't. All these things that are comfortable to us. Well, I, I would, but I, 
I can't find where to buy that. I would, but how do you feel about this one that's being shared here? You know, this is coming down on us. I was at the DNC when they, that Bernie quit, and the people from Standing Rock stood up right away. We're only 3%. What was 100% of us? Why do you keep fighting us? Why do you keep not going to war with us? Why do you keep battling and taking and killing and robbing and coming and doing these things to us? Why doesn't America ever stand up for the last 3% of their original hosts? And people say, hey, don't take it easy. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Get off of me. I said, hey, does your livestock drink oil? Does your agriculture drink oil? Do you drink oil? Because they do and they are. So don't tell them it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Keep your hands off. That's how we got here. Don't you get it? Have a fine day. So how do you feel about what we're saying here? We're taking times away from family and our comforts. The smells of our home places. The, the laughter of the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren and the great-grandchildren. We're missing the, the, the comforts of the smelling my salmon or the clams cooking in our kitchens right now. To be here and share more. To educate more. Please listen with your hearts. Stop listening with your ears and your heads and the egos and these things that, 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 that construe things. Listen to your hajsada. Listen to the spirit. Please and thank you. And then behave and conduct and act upon it. <sighs> Action, they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, you know. And then and action speaks louder than words. And so, in these trying times, you know, I say, I hope I, my, my actions are deafening. I, I received a plate. I'll, I'll leave this in closing. I just want to say this last thing is that we, we, at our gatherings, they feed us, right? And, and in a short period of time, I've on this, 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 uh, this paper plate, this paper plate, they, they give me a, like a piece of fish, maybe a salad, a piece of bread, a potato. And I see this little pink meat that used to be so, so red and robust and beautiful. And it's like got this little piece, like, like a little cornflake now. <laughs> it's not funny. Stop laughing. That's why everything's fine, because we laugh about these truths. I told my wife, I said, hey, come back here for a second. I said, hey, this little piece of salmon here. I just want to ask you one thing, honey. She's full blood quilly. Honey, this little piece of cornflake, this little pale piece of fish, honey. When, this, when you have a plate and there's no more fish on here, what's that mean? What's going to change that meat? What am I going to eat then? And she's like, I don't know. You know, you know. She took. I said, when the fish is gone, don't worry about it because we're gone. Don't you get that? Sunny boy's gone. Our great, our our children are gone, and we are gone. When that salmon is off the plate, that means we are gone. Don't you get it? You don't take care of the water, there's no fish, there's no zooplankton. The fish go, we go. So I was just kind of leaving it like that, that this little piece of fish is, keeps, is diminishing on my plate. And to me, that's how Billy said it. I, there's the truth. And I know that fish is killing me because it's full of toxins of the, of the, the water it's lived in and resided in. So the, the irony is, is I'm killing my own self with my own medicine, you know. So these are indicators to me. Nothing replaces that protein on that meat. Nothing replaces the salmon. Nothing replaces me or my family. That's why I'm here today to share with you and hopefully not change the way you think about life, but how you feel about what you're doing in your life. Oh, hold on, what relationship?